Welcome to Codefight's interview practice. In this video, we will review one of the simplest data structures, the array. Arrays are used to store variables, and the information is indexed to allow easy lookup. In this array, we would say the yellow marble is at index 2. By knowing where the array starts in memory, and the size of each individual variable, it is easy to use the index to find the variable immediately. If we want to check the color of the marble at index 3, say, we can start at the beginning of the array, move down three spaces, and discover that the marble with index 3 is blue. It is important to distinguish the difference between accessing an element by index and trying to find a specific element. We have already seen that checking the color of the marble at index 3 is fast, but to try and find a blue marble in the array requires going through the array one element at a time. The simplest type of array is a static array. As the name suggests, their size cannot be changed. Because of this, we cannot directly add an element to a static array. We can achieve the same effect by making space for a larger array, creating the new array, copying elements over from the old array, and then deleting the old array. Deleting an element is the same process in reverse. First we make space for the smaller array, create the new array, copy the desired elements over, and delete the previous array. If we are frequently adding or removing items from an array, our program can spend a lot of time copying elements between arrays in memory. A dynamic array is one way of addressing this issue. A dynamic array reserves a larger amount of space than it needs, while also storing its size. When we want to add an element, if there's space, we can put the element in while increasing the size parameter. If we want to delete an element, we can remove it while decreasing the size parameter. Of course, if we add too many elements, we can still run out of room and we have to increase the size of the dynamic array. This involves the same copying process as a static array. The advantage is that we don't have to undergo this process every time we change the number of elements, only when we run out of room. or when we are worried we are using too much space. The advantage of using a static array is that we only use as much memory as we need. The advantage of a dynamic array is that we're able to add and remove elements quickly. Be sure to check out Codefight's interview practice for more information about arrays and to practice solving real interview questions about them.